Hello everyone, I'm Steven Snake Uke and Lindsay here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create simple hands and to use those to hold on and grasp objects in Strip Generator. Now, the reason I'm saying that specifically to grasp objects is because it looks the best whenever it does that. Whenever it just you're playing hands out with the fingers, it doesn't look exactly right. So this is going to be our base for our hand. And we're going to bring everything off of that, the fingers and all that. Now, I will say, I believe in simplicity. Think of back in the days of the old cartoons, whenever they would have a background that would repeat itself. Now, this would save money and time on the drawer's artist's times. So, this is simply what I am like to promote. So, in this example, we have a character that's right-handed. But... As we see, we need a finger to be out over the trigger. So what we do is we copy our base of our hand and shrink it as needed, put it over a trigger, and bring our hand to the front. And there we have our finger out. And it looks pretty good because our fingers would actually be behind our hand and the handle of the gun. But let's say there's something you're doing and you don't have that luxury of cheating and keeping it simple. So this is what it would look like. Since our character is right-handed, as I mentioned earlier, our hand would have to be in the back. So then we have to draw out all of our fingers. So we have our finger right here already. So what we're going to do is copy that, bring it down, and more or less just do the same thing. Just copy, copy. Of course, if you have a character that has three fingers, you would lose one of these, or if you had one that had only two fingers. So whatever type of character design you want for your character to have, then you would just edit it, edit this as you need. So we're going to add our thumb. And right here is our finished product. As you can see, it looks pretty good. It looks all right. Uh, it may not be the most realistic looking fingers you've ever seen, but neither is your character most likely. Unless you do have a really advanced character, then kudos to you. But as we see, this is just something that we can draw to get the point across. It's very simple and easy to do, and really anyone can do it. But as I mentioned earlier on, say you wanted to add some hands to your stuff, but you wanted fingers on those. It doesn't quite look exactly the same. Because it just doesn't look right so if you want a character to say have a thumbs up it would sort of look something like this and as you see it really doesn't look that good sure like I said it may get the point across but just doesn't look that right um, of course this really probably wasn't the best one to choose I have one over here that shows something that another position you may have. I kind of like this position. It works out for me. It looks all right. And this is two different positions I have. Uh, it's actually one is whenever my character talks to himself, he brings up his hand and puts it against his temple. And sometimes he has his thumb raised up. I usually just put it there in case I need to have some reference, which really isn't that often. But another thing I do, let's see, is if I have something that has to go right in between those two fingers. So this is a crayon or a pen or a pencil, whatever. But let's say we want to have it in between his two fingers. So this would be the perfect position, which we can have it look something like that. So that looks all right. And it gets the stuff across. It doesn't look that bad. And this is one of those few hand positions that I sort of like and am all right with. So, again, this works best whenever you're grabbing hold of an object, a gun, a bat, anything that your character has to hold on to. But whenever you have to have finger positions based on the hand alone, it kind of looks off. Like I said, it will get the point across if, you're, if you really need to have those fingers. But otherwise, I would recommend you just use it for grasping. And if anything, I guess you can create a chicken or something as well, because this looks like a chicken. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. And 
I'm sorry if this didn't exactly help you out in the way that you may have wanted to help you out, but if you're ever in the need for creating and grasping an object, at least this should help you out in that situation. And if you do have a really realistic character, then I'm supposing you probably wouldn't want my tips and helps already because you're probably way past me. Our next tutorial will show you a couple of expressions that you can put and use on your characters that you may have already created or the ones that you created on Monday this week. So with that, I'll remind you, if you like this video and you want to be up to date on all my tutorials and any other videos I may do, simply subscribe to me. It only takes one click. And if you do like this video, please rate it, comment on it, fave it, tell all your friends, and anyone that you believe it might help. 